Imagine a world where cars emit nothing but water, industries run without spewing harmful carbon dioxide, and energy storage becomes cleaner and more efficient. Sounds futuristic, right? Well, hydrogen is making that future possible. As the simplest and most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen is paving the way toward a sustainable energy revolution. But how exactly does it work? And what makes it such a game changer in reducing CO2 emissions? Let's dive into the science, the technology, and the promising future of hydrogen as an energy carrier. What is hydrogen and why is it special? Hydrogen is the simplest atom, consisting of just one proton and one electron. It's also the most abundant element in the universe, accounting for 75% of its mass. On Earth, hydrogen is rarely found in its pure form. Instead, it exists as part of compounds like water, H2O, and hydrocarbons. What makes hydrogen special is its potential as a clean energy carrier. Unlike fossil fuels, which release carbon dioxide when burned, hydrogen can be used to generate energy with water as the only byproduct. This makes it a powerful tool for combating climate change and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. How Hydrogen Works as an Energy Carrier Hydrogen itself is not an energy source but an energy carrier much like electricity. It stores and delivers energy produced from other sources. Here's how it works. Production Hydrogen can be extracted from water, natural gas, or biomass. Storage Once produced, hydrogen can be compressed, liquefied, or stored in chemical compounds. Utilization Hydrogen is used in fuel cells to generate electricity or as a direct fuel in some cases. This ability to carry energy makes hydrogen an essential component of a cleaner energy market. The cleanliness of hydrogen production varies, and its purity is determined by its color classification. Different colors of hydrogen Hydrogen production methods are categorized by colors to indicate their environmental impact. Gray Hydrogen Produced from fossil fuels like natural gas through a process called steam methane reforming, it's the cheapest form of hydrogen but emits significant CO2. Blue hydrogen, similar to gray hydrogen but involves capturing and storing the CO2 emissions. While it's cleaner, it still relies on fossil fuels. You might be thinking how to capture CO2. We will discuss this in one of our videos. Green hydrogen, produced through electrolysis using renewable energy sources like wind or solar power. This is the most sustainable and eco-friendly form of hydrogen with zero carbon emissions. Green hydrogen is the ultimate goal for a zero carbon energy system. However, its production is currently expensive, making it a challenge to scale up. How green hydrogen is produced? Green hydrogen is created through electrolysis, a process that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown. Water input. Pure water is fed into an electrolyzer. Electrolysis process. At the anode, positive electrode, water molecules split into oxygen gas, hydrogen ions, H+, and electrons. The hydrogen ions pass through a special membrane to the cathode, negative electrode. At the cathode, the ions combine with electrons to form hydrogen gas. For this process to be truly green, the electricity used must come from renewable sources. This ensures zero emissions from start to finish. Hydrogen fuel cells. Hydrogen fuel cells are devices that convert hydrogen into electricity. They are key to using hydrogen in cars, power plants, and other applications. Here's how they work. Fuel cells work by using the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to produce an electric current. Fuel cell consists of an anode, cathode, and a membrane as electrolyte in the middle. In a hydrogen-oxygen fuel cell, potassium hydroxide, KOH, or sodium hydroxide, now of solutions are commonly used as the electrolyte. The concentration of the solution affects the performance of the fuel cell. Typically, a 25% to 75% concentration of CO or NAO is used. Fuel input. Hydrogen gas is fed into the fuel cell at the anode and oxygen is fed at the cathode. Chemical reaction. The hydrogen atom loses an electron. This is called oxidation. They then pass through the electrolyte. This happens with the help of a catalyst. The oxygen atoms gain two electrons each. This is called reduction. The membrane only allows positive charges to pass and reach the cathode directly, while the negative charges called electron are passed through an electric circuit where electric output power is taken from the cell and reaches cathode. Electricity output. The electricity powers a motor or any connected device to that circuit, the fuel that is used is hydrogen. At the cathode, the negatively charged electron and positively charged proton react and form hydrogen which further react with the already available oxygen at the cathode and form H2O, water, which is drinkable, as the only waste. 
Unlike traditional engines that burn fuel, fuel cells rely on an electrochemical process, making them highly efficient and virtually emission-free. Hydrogen-powered cars, the mechanics and benefits. Hydrogen cars like the Toyota Mirai and Hyundai Nexo run on fuel cells instead of internal combustion engines. Here's how they work. Fueling. Hydrogen gas is stored in high-pressure tanks. Power generation. The fuel cell converts hydrogen into electricity to power the car's motor. Emission. The only byproduct is water, which exits as vapor. Benefits of hydrogen cars. Unlike electric vehicles that require hours to charge, hydrogen cars can be refueled in under five minutes. Long range. They can travel up to 400 to 500 miles on a single tank. Zero emissions. No harmful gases are released, making them environmentally friendly. Future of hydrogen. Hydrogen is set to play a major role in achieving global climate goals. Here's what the future holds. Industrial applications. Hydrogen can decarbonize industries like steel and cement production, which are hard to electrify. Energy storage. Excess renewable energy can be stored as hydrogen and used later, solving the problem of intermittency in wind and solar power. Transportation. Hydrogen-powered trains, buses, and even planes are being developed, promising cleaner mobility across all sectors. Challenges. High production costs, especially for green hydrogen. Limited infrastructure for hydrogen storage and distribution. Competition with battery electric technologies. Despite these challenges, advancements in technology and government support are paving the way for a hydrogen-powered future. Why hydrogen matters for reducing CO2 emissions. Hydrogen is crucial for cutting emissions in sectors where electrification is difficult. For instance, heavy-duty transport, trucks, ships, and airplanes can run on hydrogen instead of fossil fuels. Energy systems. Hydrogen can stabilize power grids by storing and dispatching renewable energy. Residential use. Hydrogen boilers can replace natural gas for heating homes. Green hydrogen, in particular, offers a pathway to achieving net zero emissions by 2050. Hydrogen has the potential to revolutionize how we produce, store, and use energy. As we move toward a more sustainable future, this versatile element will play a critical role in reducing carbon emissions and combating climate change. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into game-changing technologies.